In this video, we are going to learn about how to install PHP in Windows. This is Mayank Sangri and thanks for tuning in to demo. In this video, hello everyone, this is Mayank Sangri from vlemon.com and I'm back with another video and in this video, we are going to learn about how to install PHP in Windows. We are using IIS as a web server. If you are looking for a video where you need to configure PHP for Apache, you can check this video. So let's start. First, I'm going to refer this blog post as a reference. And if you want to use this same blog post, this blog post URL is available in the description of this video. Now, the first thing you need to download PHP. And for downloading PHP, you need to click on this URL and download the required version of PHP. So we are installing PHP 7.2.1 in this video and uh, my machine is a 64 bit machine. So that's why I'm using 64 uh, non thread F. Okay. And for this video, I already downloaded the zip file. So let me open my folder and this is the zip file for PHP. Okay. So let me close this and the next thing php required visual c++ redistributable or visual studio 2015 so you also need to install visual studio c++ redistributable if it is not is not available in your windows machine so i also downloaded the required visual c++ redistributable file and it is available just here and if you want to download this you need to visit this url and you need to download you need to download the required file my machine is 64 bits so that's why i selected this option if you want to install php in 32 bit or if your if your open if your operating system is a 32 bit then you can select this one so this is the first step downloading the required files now let's see uh, first we are going to extract our file so let me right click and extract everything here and I'm going to name it, let's say, PHP. In my blog post, I used PHP 7, but in my video, I'm installing everything in my PHP folder. This is only to demonstrate if you are going to extract your PHP files in some other location, then how to refer this blog post. So for example, in your machine, you have multiple drives, then maybe you can select D drive. But for me, I have only one drive, C drive. So that's why I'm going to install, I, inst I extracted my PHP files in C drive. So what is the next step? Uh, the next step are, we are going to add permission for our IS user. For this, I'm going to right click on PHP folder properties. And then we are going to click on security tabs. And then I'm going to click on edit and then we are going to click on add i want to open advanced options i'm going to search for all users and then i'm going to scroll down and i want to add is underscore i usrs user okay and finally going to click on ok for this user i'm going to change the permission allow full control finally click on ok to save the changes click on ok this is about the permission now the next thing we are going to modify our php.inf file for this i'm going to open my php folder and inside this you are able to see two options first is php.ini production and another is php.ini development you can in this video i'm going to use this file if you want to know the difference between these two files let me quickly show the difference uh, i want to open this with uh, notepad mm. more apps notepad okay and here i'm going to open code compare i'm going to copy everything from this file it i opened i'm not sure which file i open oops i don't want to open this i want to open okay so this is the content from development let's see i want to open this 
more apps i want to open using notepad control a control c and then i'm going to paste it so we have few changes few difference in production and development so this is php.ni development uh trick errors so in our production trick errors default value of development value on uh, production value is off okay so this is one change another change is error reporting so definitely in production environment requirement we are not going to display all the errors and display error is off in production environment yes i want this and what is next is display startup error is again off in production okay so this is all about the difference in a uh, development and uh, production so i'm going to close this compare now and then i'm going to close this notepad and then i'm going to change the i'm going to rename this file okay so i'm going to click on files options i want to click on views and i want to uncheck this hide extension for known file type click on apply and okay and now i'm going to rename our production file i'm going to remove i'm going to remove hyphen production and now we are going to modify this file are you sure you want to change it yes now i'm going to open this file i'm going to open this file in notepad and we are going to modify a few things in this file search for the extension dir okay so i'm going to search for this control f control v down and then we are going to modify this and i'm going to add extension and we need to provide the complete path for our extension uh, so it is available in c php ext so i'm going to copy this path and then i'm going to paste it here so in blog post we are using php 7 folder but in our video this video we are using php folder now what is next we are going to modify or we are going to uncomment following properties in php.ini file okay the first is fast cgi so i'm going to copy the first and we are going to search for this down it is available just here we are going to uncomment this line the default value for this is zero so we are going to change it to one the next is fix path info i'm going to copy this and then we are going to paste it here uh -huh find and it is just here so i'm going to uncomment this and then i'm going to change it to zero okay so if you want to know all about this why we are changing all these properties uh why we are changing all this you can check this uh video now i'm going to copy this and then let's find this where it is available inside our file it is available just here we are going to uncomment this and then we are going to change its value to zero so this is from uh, php official website note windows user when using is this option must be turned off so we turn it off uh, the last thing we are going to add a uh, error log location so i'm going to search for error log so this is error log <coughs> now we are going to change the error log okay let me uncomment this php error log equals to php underscore errors dot log file you can rename this file also so for example here i am using a uh, c php error log so i'm i'm going to uncomment this we are now our error log is going to be stored in php underscore errors dot log now we are going to uncomment some of the extensions you can uncomment more extension if required but for this video i'm going to uncomment following extensions i'm going to search for this first control f and i'm going to uncomment this one and gd2 mb string where is mb string here it is 
and then we need to mysql i for mysql connection and pdo for mysql and it is available just here and i want to uncomment this one so this is all about the modification of php.ina file now i'm going to close this and i'm going to save this php.ina file first and then i'm going to close php.ina file now next thing we are going to change or we are going to add path for environment path for php for this i'm going to open control panel and then i'm going to click on system and securities system and then i am going to click on advanced system settings environment variables and then i'm going to under system variables i'm going to select path double click and i want to add a new path and we are going to select our php folder so my php folder is c colon php let me confirm this oops enter okay windows r and yes this is our php folder so this is about the path so i'm going to click on ok click on ok and close this system window <clears throat> now i'm 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 going to test our environment variable for this i'm going to open command prompt cmd and then i'm going to type php hyphen version okay so this is the error we see runtime 140.dll not found for this i'm going to open my c drive and then i'm going to install this microsoft visual c plus plus 2014 redistributable i agree install if user account control ask for ask for your permission click on yes setup successful i'm going to close this and again i'm going to type uh, i'm going to execute the same command and everything is perfect we are able to check the version of php then uh, next command i want to execute is php and i want to check the information for php so this is the information for php so this is all about php info and now we are ready to configure php inside is so i'm going to close this command prompt i am this uh, i think we required this explorer so i'm going to minimize this and now i'm going to open is so i night mgr i'm going to type this to launch is okay from control panel you can go in system and securities and then you can go in administrative tools and inside these here is internet information service is manager this is another way to launch is but i prefer the windows run method so let me close this one also and this is our is and what is the next thing we are going to do so environment path is done we launch is and now we are going to create handler mapping for this i'm going to click on handler mapping double click and then i'm going to select add module mapping inside this i'm going to type start.php and then in the modules i'm going to type fast cgi i'm going to select this one in executable uh, we are going to open this pc c drive php we are going to filter it with exes and then we are going to select php hyphen cgi.exe open this and i'm going to name it let's say fast cgi php okay add module mapping do you want to create fast cgi application for this executable click yes to add the entry to fast cgi collection and to enable this executor 
to run as a fast CGI application. Yes, yes, yes. So this is added successfully. Now I'm going to click on back button to move back. And now we are going to add default document for PHP. So I'm going to double click on default documents and then I'm going to select add and then I'm going to type index dot php is going to be our default document okay so this is done uh, our model uh, handler mapping is done we already added a module mapping we added a default document and now we are going to create a php file for creating php file uh, let me first show you uh, this is our default default is website i'm going to select this and then i'm going to select browse and this is edge and this is our local host and now i'm going to create a file inside this or uh, in this directory for this i'm going to minimize edge and then i'm going to select default website right click and i'm going to select uh explorer explore okay so we are going to create a php file inside this but right now if you are going to right click and say i want to create a new file you are not able to create a new file for this i am going to launch notepad as a administrative privileges i am to click on windows notepad right click run as an administrator yes i am going to type my code here it's php echo Hello, Willemon, and close this bracket. If you are following my blog as it is, then you need to copy code inside this double quotes. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. Okay, it is also going to be work, but I think the double quotes is not correct. So let me fix it first. Yes, now it is correct okay so now we are ready we are going to save this file i'm going to right click file save and then i'm to select all files and i'm going to select this directory first so i'm going to open this directory first and here we are going to say hello dot php so our php file is created inside this and now I'm going to open edge one more time and here uh, no thanks uh, here I'm going to say hello dot php so this is all about how to install php in IS Windows 10 operating system so that's it for this video and if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe share it to your friend provide your feedback if you have any queries feel free to drop your queries in the comment section i will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolution and thanks for watching and see you all in my next video some important viewers.